The NFL this week was plagued with injuries, and we hate to see this one coming out of Minnesota. Whoa! Oh, that sound guy's on my fantasy team. Wh why? Welcome to The Extra Point, I'm Rob King. And I'm Caitlin Pitsagai. First of all, we want to give a shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks. Not for their basketball skills, but for their comedy. When the Warriors visited this past weekend, the Bucks trolled the bandwagon fans with their bandwagon cam. That's not funny. Did you just put that t-shirt on? No, uh, no, I was, I always wear this shirt. <laughs> but you're from... Golden State, yeah, the, the city, state city, born and raised. It's time for the Goodells, the award ceremony. So first off, who's the big winner? Who gets the Goodell? It's going to NFL kickers, who this week set an NFL record for most missed extra points. And we here at The Extra Point have to say a special thank you because people are saying the words The Extra Point all the time. Our search engine optimization is off the charts. I was actually pretty inspired by all the missed extra points this week. And uh, I went ahead and wrote a missed extra point theme song. Let's roll that clip real quick. Missed extra point, missed extra point, party time, excellent. Wee, 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 wee. You like that? Well, it was the Wayne's World theme song with the words extra point. Yeah, yeah. But do you, is it good? Of all the Wayne's World theme songs I've heard, it's the second best one. Party time. Excellent. And who gets the bad L this week? Who's the loser? Well, we're giving it to Cleveland Browns fans and not for the normal reason. This week when their team lost, they held up a sign that said, we want Bama. Look, we, we get it, okay? You want to beat somebody, but Alabama, <laughs> they're number one. You're number 32. Guys, start more modest, okay? Like the 10 to 15 range, mm -hmm. like uh, Western Michigan. Uh, they're undefeated. Mm, pretty good. Look, that's one possibility of a team that maybe the Browns could beat. Tell us who you think the Browns could beat in the comments below. And remember, think bad. This is the Browns. So like the Bad News Bears, Keanu Reeves and the replacements. Anything, really. And the wild card Dell this week is the Dell, which goes to Jared Goff. The number one pick in this year's draft finally saw the field and it was fine. And we're not the only ones with a lukewarm review of Goff's premiere. Did a really good job. Uh, no delay games, was in complete control, um, you know, in the huddle. Uh, did a nice job on the line of scrimmage. That's right, no delay of games. We noticed some other things out there. He broke every huddle with a really nice clap. He wore his uniform the entire game, and the correct uniform. He didn't drop kick any teammates. He showed up at the correct height and weight at which he was listed in the program. For all four quarters, he was not Case Keenum. And that's really all they asked for. Well, Dell. And now time for the NASCAR recap. NASCAR recap. Jimmy Johnson wins a record tying seventh Sprint Cup title. That is amazing. This guy, first of all, he coaches the Dallas Cowboys to two Super Bowl victories. Then he changes careers, wins seven sprint cups. Actually, I, I mean, real quick, or Caitlin, actually, real quick, um, different people. Jimmy Johnson, Cowboys. It feels too. that way, right? I mean, it's like he's two totally different people. One excellent head coach, one excellent race car driver. That is actually how it is. They are different people. One's Jimmy with a Y, Cowboys, one's Jimmy with an IE, NASCAR. That makes sense, because you do need to change your name as your identity changes. Like. Puff Daddy, P Diddy, Diddy, Sean Combs, those are all the same person, actually. Right, and th this situation, they're different people. That's why the different names well, and spellings. then how did I get this photo? Uh, I think you just made that. NASCAR Rico! Okay, I'm Rob King. Uh, and I'm Caitlin Bitsagai. Thanks for watching The Extra Point. Last week we asked you what Conor McGregor's other demands would be should he win a third UFC title. Davis Riley said Conor McGregor will want to be president of the world. Not a title. Not, but I, I agree with him that Conor McGregor will want that, yes. Absolutely. Uh, Life Hacker said he will fucking get what he wants and he won't apologize even. Conor McGregor is the boss. Huh. Clearly that's Conor McGregor, that one of his like aliases. Uh, pretty sad. Thank you for watching. Yeah, it was really great to connect with fans.